Thanks for joining us. This is 27 News at 10 and I'm David George. After spending all of 2022 in a children's emergency hospital, a Manhattan teen, John Carlos, is finally back home. 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone joins us live from Manhattan with much more. Matthew. David, I got to sit down with John Carlos and some of his friends who are overjoyed to have the teenager back home in the Little Apple. I'm just grateful I'm here and I'm really lucky. John Carlos was a passenger in the Manhattan Highway crash that left two others dead and himself critically injured. So I was in a coma for two months and then when like when I woke up, I didn't like I used to have a trach and that would help me like breathe and talk. And then like the um when I woke up, I seen like my skin, and I got freaked out because I didn't know about it. After more than half a year at Children's Mercy, JC is finally back in his hometown and couldn't be more overjoyed. I'm excited because I get to see like my friends and stuff. And I'm just happy I'm, I'm back in. I get to see my mom. Those friends equally as excited to have their buddy back in their life and know that he's doing okay day to day instead of having to wait for hospital updates. It's like a relief because, you know, he's home. We know he's a lot better and that he can like, he doesn't have to have all these people helping him. He could do a lot more stuff on his own and that he's a lot more like stable. JC's journey through recovery wasn't easy, but through speech and physical therapy, the teen is finally back in the Little Apple. I got a second chance of living. The family is still accepting support through GoFundMe to cover the medical costs and help the teenager adjust back to life after the incident. We'll have that link to the GoFundMe and JC's Instagram on our website, 27news.com, later this evening if you'd like to go send messages of support to the Manhattan teen. Working for you, live in Manhattan, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. Matthew, we appreciate the live update and we certainly wish him all the best.